Why are ads not showing on my website? The truth is, there can be several reasons why. Learn about four of the most common ones. Let's begin. First, more than one header bidding. Often, publishers want to test which header bidding solution will increase their ad revenue the most. For example, a client decides to run a test with Setup Ad and another company simultaneously. Both companies have their own header bidding wrappers that may come into conflict with each other. Ultimately, this can result in ads appearing broken or not showing. In this case, our suggestion would be to test both solutions separately. Remember to make the test equal to both parties regarding the duration of the test, seasonality, and ad inventory. Second, defer parsing of JavaScript. It's one of the most popular suggestions when it comes to website speed optimization. But what does it actually mean? When the user visits your website, his browser starts to render your site's HTML content from top to bottom. When it finds any JavaScript files, it needs to fetch and parse them first, taking extra website loading time and harming the user experience. Since ad tags are built using JavaScript, this method modifies the code inside them. For ads to work properly, they need to be delivered at a certain moment and in a certain sequence. Because the moment when the JavaScript should load has been modified, a user might see a blank space instead of an ad. This doesn't mean you shouldn't use deferred JavaScript. Usually, this issue can be fixed by manually adjusting the code. The third reason, minified JavaScript. Minification, also known as minimization, is the process that removes all unnecessary characters from a source code, such as white spaces, line breaks, comments, etc. In the end, you're left with a shorter code that consumes fewer browser resources to download. JavaScript minification is necessary to improve the website's loading speed. However, because ad tags are built using JavaScript, they can sometimes cause ad execution problems. This is because an ad tag should be put exactly into the page where the ads should appear. Debugging minified JavaScript is tedious, but a necessary task in this case. And finally, the fourth, modified tags. Mostly, setup ad ad tags consist of two parts, iframe element and script element. Sometimes, a publisher may change the sequence of these two elements or divide them into two parts. This interferes with the HTML code and can prevent the ads from showing. Similarly, an older WordPress plugin or an outdated WordPress theme can modify attributes inside the ad code. Ultimately, this will cause ad delivery errors. What is your experience with ads not appearing on your website? Let us know in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to our channel.